Alright guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to script a flight system that allows your character to fly with the press of a button. Normal people have to walk down stairs to get down, but with your newfound gift of flight, you can fly down like a boss and strike a cool pose. Alright, the first thing you have to do is insert a local script into starter character scripts. So let's define some services first. So we'll need the user input service. We also need the run service. We'll need to get the player. So local player equals game.players.local player. We'll need to get the player's character. We'll need to get the humanoid root part. And the camera. Now we're going to have two functions. So the first function will be to make the player fly. And the other function will be to make the player stop flying. We'll also have to detect when the player presses the spacebar because that activates the flight. So we do user input service dot input began and connect a function to it. So we check if the input is equal to the spacebar. Right. We also need a boolean value to determine if the player is currently flying or not. So they start off on the ground not flying, so we set it to false. We also need a speed multiplier, so we'll just say 50 for now. Alright, so if the user presses the spacebar, we first check if they're not flying. So if they're not flying, we want them to fly. And if they are flying, we want them to stop flying. So if not flying, then fly, else, end flying. Now if you want to add an animation, you would add the following code. So you would create a new animation. So local animation equals instance.new animation. I already had an animation done. If you want to know how to make animations, check out my animation video. So you do animation dot animation ID equals you type in these specific characters, so RBX asset ID and then your animation ID. You then get the animator. And then we need to load the animation. So local animation track equals animator load animation. So the first thing we're going to do to make the character fly is use two new constraints that Roblox introduced. Align orientation and align position. So first let's create the align orientation. And we're parenting it to the humanoid root part. And we're setting the mode to use only one attachment. Alright, now you then have to assign an attachment to the align orientation. So you do Line orientation dot attachment zero equals humanoid root part wait for child root attachment. And then you set its responsiveness to 50. You can set it to whatever number you want. Basically, the higher the number, the more responsive the character would move as you're turning in the sky. You also have to create a new aligned position. And it's another constraint that allows you to move your character or move a part towards a certain position. So we'll go align position equals instance.new align position and we're parenting that to the humanoid root part as well. If the mode is the same we're going to do enum.position alignment mode dot one attachment. And we're going to set the attachment to the root attachment found inside humanoid root part. So basically, align orientation allows you to rotate in the direction that something is facing, and align position is a constraint that allows you to move things towards a certain position. Not teleporting, but actually physically moving it. Then we set align orientations max torque to some arbitrary large number, so we'll put like 100,000, and align position dot max force to the same thing. 
it doesn't really matter what it is, just have it some big number. And we'll set flying equals true. And we'll play the animation. And then we'll have a wild loop that will constantly update the goal position of the player based on where they're facing. And we'll also orient their character to face in the direction that they're heading in. So we'll do while flying. We will use the render stepped event. So basically we'll wait the duration of one frame for the player. Then we set the align orientations C frame to a new C frame. Basically we're orienting the character in the direction that the camera is facing. We then update the goal position of the character by doing align position dot position equals humanoid root part dot position plus humanoid root part dot position minus camera dot c frame dot position dot unit multiplied by the speed. Basically we're setting a new goal position, which is a vector 3 value that adds the current position of the player with the current direction that the player is facing in. And when you add them together you get a third value which represents the position that the character is going to be moving towards. Actually we're going to switch it from dot p to dot position. So camera dot c frame dot position. Dot p I think is decapricated. And now we want to work on the ending flying function. So when this function is called, it will just stop flying. Basically, we want to first stop the animation. So animation track dot stop, colon stop. Alright, so first you want to find the two constraints that are inside the character. So local align position equals humanoid root part, wait for child, or no. Let's do find first child, align position. And we'll do the same thing for the align orientation. So if both of these constraints are still inside the character, we want to destroy them. And we also want to set flying to false. And the last thing we want to do is when they touch the ground, we also want them to stop flying. So we can connect a touched event to the base plate. So game.workspace.baseplate.touched and connect a function to it. So we'll first make sure that the other part is a player and make sure that the player is currently flying right now. So if all these conditions are met, we will end flying. And that's the full script. There's one more demo. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.